Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac and welcome to another unboxing. This one is George by Pneumatic. Now if you check the link below I've already done a full demonstration of a Pneumatic George but that machine I sold quite a while ago and I decided it was time to try another George. This is a bit slightly different to the one I had. A couple of minor improvements but I also wanted another George because I've never unboxed a George on my channel that's one reason but also I'm going to be doing many different videos featuring George but they'll be shorter individual videos so if you want to know how to set up George for carpet washing then I'll show you that how to set up George for your upholstery cleaning or floor cleaning or your dry cleaning I'll show you everything that you need to know how to use your George but they'll be all individual shorter videos so they'll be easier for you to watch if you're in a hurry. Okay without any further ado there's an awful lot inside this box so let's get on with the unboxing. Okay let's try and get my hand into here to open up the flaps. This is model GVE370 made by Pneumatic International in the United Kingdom. Right, so here's the top of the box. A lot to get through, so let's crack on. Here we have the filter for dry use, used of course in conjunction with the HepaFlow dust bag. Here's the owner instruction manual that covers this George and various other variants of George covers the commercial versions as well. So again it's pretty similar to all the other pneumatic instructions I've seen of late. Mainly colour pictures to show you how to set the machine up. Not always the easiest thing for people to follow which is why you might find some of my video demos useful. As and when I do them I will add the links to the individual videos under the unboxing of this one. But of course the first video you can see, if you want to sit through it all, is the full demo I did of the George I owned previously. But it is slightly different to this one, but only minor differences. There's the instructions, what's next? This is why I like George, and this is the main strength, in my opinion, in my experience, the main, main strength of George is its use for deep cleaning, up upholstery, car interiors, your stairs. This is the handheld nozzle, this is a deep clean nozzle, so it's a spray nozzle. It's very well made, commercial grade, you see it's got metal fittings. It's just a very robust nozzle. It provides a very good suction across the end for removing the dirty solution. And there's even a brass spray jet here. That in my experience of using many, many carpet washers um, with uprights with tools and the more familiar canister versions like the Vax tubs, for me, the George has been the best one for cleaning above the floor for your upholstery, stairs, cars, etc. It can't be beat for that. It's not so good for doing your carpets, in my experience. Okay, so that's your main upholstery washing head. This is now the main carpet washing head and unlike most upright carpet washers there's no revolving brush or spinning brushes to help dislodge the dirt. All you have with this type of machine is basically just this transparent nozzle that we connect up so it sprays the water jet of solution behind it onto the carpet and then basically it just sucks off the solution off the top of the pile. It doesn't actually agitate it. But it's still a quality nozzle. Again you've got the metal strips either side. Something that would wear with constant use if it was left bare plastic. That plastic would wear down but having the metal strips just gives it a bit more robustness if that's the word. It screws onto the actual tube when you put it onto the extension tubes. You have to tighten that little screw thread. So that's your main carpet washing nozzle. Here is the hard floor washing nozzle. 
although not as convenient to use as, say, uh, a Vax floor mate or a similar carpet washer, it does a very good job. It's a lot more effort to set up but if you've got large areas of carpet to clean, it's a very good nozzle. Due to the fact, very stiff brushes, not for use on delicate floors, but if you've got like stone floor or ceramic floor, especially with grouting that's got really dirty, you can use these very stiff brushes to really agitate and scrub at the solution that's been sprayed on. Then you can leave that for a while to work, and then you just flip the nozzle over with the two squeegees and suck the dirty water into George, leaving your floor fairly dry. Again, stay tuned, I'll be doing a full demo of George washing a floor using this nozzle later on. Next nozzle, and unlike the newer Henry's, um, Hetty's and James cleaners, this still has the older style pneumatic floor head, so it's got metal base, Different to my previous George, it does actually have a parking bracket. There is a parking slot on the back of the George machine. But this is basically the same nozzle that used to be supplied with pneumatics. Um, I prefer the newer style nozzle, to be honest. And I might do a quick video comparing these two nozzles using Henry. So we'll see how this nozzle performs using my low wattage energy saving Henry compared to the nozzle you get supplied but I think the newer nozzle does a better job this is I believe still a 1200 watt motor so that's why you still get the old traditional nozzle next out is the hose for dry use you can use this for wet pickup if you want to but there's no need to really um, it is a little bit shorter than the hose you get supplied with the standard Henry and Hetty and a little bit of a different fitting. It's not a screw fitting. Uh, I think they'd call it a bayonet fitting, like a, a bayonet light bulb. It just pushes, twists slightly to lock it into position. You don't have to sort of screw it on like you do with the other pneumatic cleaners. And you've got this sort of gulper shaped end which you can use just like that. Or of course you can connect the chrome handle to it. So that's for mainly for dry vacuuming only. You keep the wet hose separate. It's good that way because with a sort of multi-purpose vacuum that has one hose you do have to wait for that hose to dry out before you can use it for dry use again. But with the George you get two hoses and this is the wet hose so I would recommend if you've got wet pickup, if you're clearing up a spill, still use this hose. But of course this hose is also used when you're using George as a deep cleaner, either for your upholstery or carpets, or of course when you're washing the floors. So it is a longer hose than the standard dry hose. I'll be showing you how far this hose reaches up a standard flight of stairs, and to my knowledge, to my um, memory, it does reach quite far, not quite right to the top, but it does reach further than most of cleaners of this type. So you've got a different type of hose and also on the outside fused on we've got the solution hose that carries the clean water. So you've got one end that actually plugs into George and the other end that plugs in to either the nozzle directly onto the end, the small nozzle, or it plugs into the main carpet and floor nozzle. There is another piece of tubing that comes with, which I'll show you, I've just seen it in the box. This other bit of tubing you use when you're using either the floor washing nozzle or the carpet washing nozzle. Um, and I think, <laughs> I have a feeling this is broken. I'm not sure, but that doesn't look quite right to me, and that's unusual. This is obviously a factory sealed. I bought this from a, a repu reputable retailer. It looks like I might have to be complaining. I don't remember that being separate. Ah, is that... No, that's why. Yes. Oh dearie me. That is why. That should be attached. I was wondering why. That, that should not be loose. Oh. Can't believe this. That should be attached to that. 
I don't really want to have to send the whole thing back just for that. I don't know if Pneumatic will be able to help me out with a new one of those, but that's broken. I'm very surprised by that, that that's broken. Um, it's, an, it's a factory sealed machine. I can't see which way it's supposed to, it's supposed to go on that way, I think. Anyway, with yours, hopefully yours won't be broken, that trigger should be connected to this. Obviously it's broken on mine. I'll be sending photos to the company involved. You get a bottle of New Chem cleaning solution for your carpets and floors. You can use other solutions in this, and to be honest, I have used Vax and Bissell solution in my other George cleaner. Well, I'm a bit, bit, bit annoyed by that. Well, very annoyed. Anyway, I'll, I'll carry on with the unboxing. Not a lot you can do, really. Um, two metal extension tubes, one slightly longer than the other. This one's got a little, I don't know what you'd call that, but anyway, you use that to attach the uh, spray nozzle to, to the end of that when you're using it. So there's the two metal tubes. Ah, oh, dearie me. Um, and there's your handle with the suction control. Rather stiff, open to reduce the suction. Close for full suction. Spare dust bags. This takes larger bags than Henry. We've got possibly three, is it, or four? We've got four bags. I'm not sure if there's one fitted. Normally you get one fitted and three spare, so possibly there isn't one fitted inside the George. But these are NVM 2BH bags. So I do believe they are larger. Could be wrong, I think they're larger than the, the bags that you get with a Henry. But again, they're the newer style. HEPA flow, very strong, much, much better than the paper bags. They're very cheap to buy. There's no point in buying generic, cheaper bags for a Henry. Often the generic paper bags can cost more than the genuine article. You're far better getting the genuine HEPA flow bags, much, much stronger, far less likely to burst than a paper bag. You've also got a good seal here and a little flap that closes over when you take the bag out of the machine to dispose of it. Okay, anything else? Oh yes, there's more. Pretty standard, I won't open all these now. That's the standard dry tools, exactly the same you'd get with a Henry or a Hetty or a James. Dusting brush, an all-purpose nozzle with a slide-on brush attachment, a crevice nozzle and the little adapter piece that allows you to connect any of the small nozzles directly to the hose without actually using the metal curved handle. Right, that's George out. Nothing else. Let's move the box to one side. So, pretty hefty beast is George. Much. Oh, right. Well, I think I might be, might be sending this back. It's got a little, little bit scuffed here. So, I think. Yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. Not very happy with that, and it's obviously this has been like this has not happened since the factory. This has been it's definitely a factory sealed brand new machine. I mean, it took me a bit of effort to open up the flaps at the top, so I'm not happy with that. I'm gonna have to go to the inconvenience of having this collected and re delivered. I only got this actually from the company I got it from because they had reduced it and they also offered a further 20% off. So I did get this for a very good price, which is what prompted me in the first place. Uh, I, could, I suppose I could live with that bit of scuffing, but obviously I can't live with the damage to the spray hose because it makes the machine useless. Anyway, here's the flex fitted plug. There's no cord rewind as you'd get one Henry. You just have to store the flex on the back of the machine there. Okay, let's have a look in a little bit more detail at the machine itself. On the top of George, we have a fixed carry handle, unlike the folding one on Henry, and we have two switches. This switch controls the pump, and this switch controls the suction motor. 
at the back we've also got the exhaust vent and you remove the top of George in a similar way to Henry two clips either side you need to pull those out and then we can take the top off inside now we've got the float valve and a mesh filter you need to keep that clean there's a little ball inside here that raises up as you're filling the machine with water whether you're cleaning up after a spill or using the machine as a shampoo cleaner as the bucket the dirty bucket fills this ball rises up and blocks the suction off here you'll know when that happens because the tone of the motor changes and the suction is lost and that's when you need to empty George this is the clean water tank that fits inside the dirty water tank quite a large capacity so we fill it here with our warm water and the correct amount of solution. It's got a carry handle so it's easy to take to the sink. Here's the bucket. So the bag fits on to this part here when we're using it as a bagged cleaner. There's a little bit of water in there actually. Now I'm assuming that's from testing purposes. I'm not sure. I assume it's been tested at the factory. Just a few drops of water. You've also got a handle here, so when you want to empty the dirty water, you've got a handle to carry it to the outside drain or wherever you're going to empty it and tip it up. And on the back, that's a newish feature. That's your storage bracket, your parking bracket, for the main nozzle that holds it all together. So that you'll find that now pretty much standard across the pneumatic home care range. Two wheels at the back for maneuverability and two caster wheels. It's a rugged machine, it's just a shame that mine happens to be broken, well one part of it happens to be, be broken. Here's the face, this sort of newish 3D face, you can take that off if you want to. So that's everything really to show you. Let's pop that back in. I'm going to have to contact the company I purchased this from see what they're going to do about it. It's a lot, lot of hassle. I'll probably have to wait a week to have it collected and replaced if they're going to do that. Anyway, here's the motor unit of the George. So we've got the uh, motor behind there. This little dangly piece, that's where the water's coming from. That's where I can feel some liquid. So I think this has been tested. I think that's just from testing. It's not been in anyone's home. Um, this has been tested at the factory. I think the pump, they'll have run water through just to make sure the pump works. There's a little mesh filter on there to make sure nothing gets sucked into the pump that shouldn't be. That actually goes into the hole here on the top. This hole at the back, so when that's filled with water, the, the clean tank, then you pop the lid on, you've got to make sure that that little pipe goes into that hole, otherwise the George won't suck up the water. Well, it will suck up the water. It won't dispense the water, is what I'm trying to say. So let's pop the lid on. There we go. Just at the front as well, just here, this is where we connect the solution tube to. So obviously a pump pumps the solution from the clean water tank up that pipe inside and out through this little outlet here and down the hose. Let's just check the wattage. I believe it is 1200 watts, this particular one. Yes, it's 1200 watt maximum. Two bar pressure pump, and it's 11.2 kilograms. I don't know if that's this piece or the whole thing. Probably, I'm not sure. It is quite heavy. There's a lot to store away as well. One final thing, I'll just switch it on. It is noisier than Henry, quite a lot noisier, especially when you're using the pump. I'll just switch on the suction motor just to make sure that's working okay. I've just connected the um, shampoo hose to George and plugged in the solution tube. I'm not going to turn the pump on. You shouldn't really run the pump without water running through it. So when it runs out of solution, make sure you turn the pump off. You'll know when that happens because the pump will start making a lot more noise than it does when there's water running through. Okay, we'll just turn on the suction motor. <laughs>
doesn't seem any more powerful than my new low wattage Henry. I'll have to see if I can do a comparison. It won't be a scientific comparison, it'll just be me doing this on either end of the cleaner's hoses, but it's I should be able to judge. Um, it doesn't seem any less or any more powerful than the Henry. So there's the George, I can see the top here is scuffed as well, so I think this particular one is going back. I'm not going to do another unboxing of the replacement, I'm just going to put this one back, quite annoyed. I'm going to put this one back, it's scuffed in the same place, it's scuffed here on the top and here. So it might have been knocked over at the factory before it went in the box, not happy about that at all. Obviously it's, it's going to get used and knocked about when it's used, but when you open a brand new product you don't expect to see that sort of thing I don't anyway um, I could have lived with that but I certainly cannot live with the fact that this is broken unfortunately so that's a bit of a fail for pneumatic it was certainly a factory sealed model I, I you know I've opened enough vacuum cleaners to know if a, a vacuum's been out of its box after it left the factory this one definitely hadn't been I don't know why it's broken but it is so I think I'll have to contact the supplier and say, look, I need this collected, it's broken. I'll have no trouble getting my money back, but I, I don't want my money back. Of course, I want a replacement at the price, of course, that I paid for this one, not at the, not at the full price. I want it at, I just want a replacement, basically. I don't, no money need change hands. I just want to get the machine I paid for, so that's a shame. Hopefully I will get this sorted and I will be reviewing this machine, doing a lot of separate videos showing all of George's various functions. Dry use, wet use, hard floor washing, carpet washing and of course upholstery cleaning. So please subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload all those videos and please check my back catalogue of over 400 and counting and rising. Uh, videos on vacuum cleaners, carpet washers, floor washers and other appliances on my channel iBasiac. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.